is, oh my god, it is like 85 degrees apparently, but the humidity is driving it up so it feels like 90. Oh, there's a breeze. But we're gonna, we're planning on heading to Maine today to check out Lighthouse, do some filming stuff. But right now that car is airing and we're gonna try Lucky's um, electric skateboard for the first time. Because why not, right? Okay, okay. oh, chill. Okay, let's just try to get on this and not kill ourselves, right? So which way do you pedal? <laughs> okay, dear lord. Okay, this is this is very sensitive. Can you change the sensitivity on this thing? That was scary. No. Okay, okay, let's do that again. How does Casey do this? How do you do this? I'm not a skateboarder. I can't use people in my life. Well, let's go a little bit faster. <laughs> God, this is terrible. Okay, I'm so done with this. I am not meant for skateboarding, nor am I meant for, oh geez. I am not meant for skateboarding, electric skateboards, regular skateboards, long boards, short boards. Are short boards a thing? But whatever board. Just finished our little skateboarding, electric skateboarding session. It was, it was fun. Like first time trying an electric skateboard, that was fun. Not that hard to grasp, but um, the thing's very sensitive, the remote control, so that's probably the hardest part. Now we're heading out to um, Maine to actually, we're going from New Hampshire to Maine. It's gonna be like a 45 minute drive to explore a lighthouse there. Look, cows, cows in the distance and the bikers, Ooh, wow. So I decided since I'm already in New Hampshire, I might as well go to Maine for seafood because I love seafood my brother loves seafood even though he can't have shrimp but seafood is life and I know there's a lot of good places that I could have good seafood in New York but apparently you know Maine lobster is a thing and I actually never had it so that should be exciting traffic sucks traffic's not always exciting this traffic is horrible <laughs> we've been stuck in traffic for like three years 20 minutes oh okay we'll live Traffic is never fun. Finally here after a while and we are headed to Fox's Lobster House over there. One nibble on the nubble. Very good play on words. Nice. Come in, we're open. Ooh. Ooh. I've been near water before, like back in Chicago when we were by Michigan Lake. I said that was in the winter and there was nobody there, but here... Man, it's nice. It's like kind of, uh, it took us a 40 minute ride, but am I zoomed in? It's actually not that far away. But it's not that far away. It's only 40 minutes because of the traffic. True. Okay, but the scenery here is like, man, nice. This place. Okay, I really like the restaurant because of the views. <laughs> How you feel? <laughs> oh well, life is sad, okay? Look, there's someone flying their Mavic. So we just finished at the seafood restaurant, Fox's Lobster House? That's what it was called, Fox's Lobster House. And for me, on a rice scale, I had to give it a full bowl of rice. It was just really good. I, I mean, it was seafood and it's kind of hard to go wrong. But um, we're trying to get our drones out now, going to buy the waters. We're going by the waters and the lighthouse to get some drone footage, get the some B-roll. is amazing right now. Yep, the it's weather probably, is amazing. Probably dipped, well maybe, maybe it's because we're by the water, but... Yeah, it right probably is. At least 10 degrees, at least. Yeah, and the breeze feels nice, feels good, but... Alright, switching yeah. cameras. Switching cameras. out here and it's like really windy uh, even the p4 pro is having a bit of trouble with the wind he's lucky he's trying to bring back the his drone but but the 
<laughs> John is going further and further. Uh oh, come on. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. lord. Oh lord. How's it going? How's it going? Okay. Okay. So, note to self to anybody that ever flies any of these kind of drones if it's high wind velocity, um, <laughs> chill out. Well, not chill out, but the phantom is really strong. But the thing is, even in like if you go 400 feet up, the higher the higher you go the higher altitude obviously you have stronger pressures up there because you don't have like that much control over the winds and the air density is actually like it's it, the air is actually like thinner than down there so if you ever like you're flying too far away just bring it back down i was at 400 feet now i'm like at 230. um the safe the safe mark is around like 100 feet but oh my god i was just losing my mind over here i'm trying to bring the i was trying to bring the phantom back and it was just like no matter what direction I put it in, like it was just the feet, uh, the feet distance was just in increasing, and like you're trying to bring it back, it's like increasing, and then you're trying to bring it like away, and it's like increasing even exponentially more. But right now it's 2,000 feet away, which is pretty impressive. I, where I was getting close to like that mile mark, I was just getting real scared, but we're getting back, hopefully. 1,900 <laughs> feet left. Oh man! So yeah, don't fly too far away when you're in a windy area and this is the feeling you get when you lose connection too it's just like a, it's scary a wave scary. of panic yeah you don't want to lose your drone or hit anybody okay i'm gonna be honest that was that was like the most panic i had with flying the drone and I've gotten really good at it like I can handle like the directional changing and like the all the you know navigating I've been pretty like I've been practicing a lot and that moment when I'm just like flying a bunch sorry I'm just trying to like watch out for my step but yeah when you have no control or like the wind is just too strong and yeah I, th I thought I was just gonna lose my drone into the ocean but uh, I figured it out like just to change the altitude a bit and whoa this rock oh but now we're on top of the world barely yeah barely but <laughs> This right here is what I gotta say is a perfect Kodak moment. Look at this. Tell me this is not crazy. Look at him. <laughs> he's going for the shot, but he's getting like all wet. <laughs> Those waves are crazy. I just soaked myself to the bone. Not really, but pretty oh wet. Nice, nice. <laughs> the things I do for the shots. He, this is so beautiful though. Nice. I'm flying like a drone. Excuse me. Lucky is always hired to do some picture, picture taking. Hashtag amateur pro photography. Look at that form. Look at him go. So we just kind of finished our roundabout here at what is this Nubble Lighthouse. And if you guys saw from the drone shots, all the time lapses or just regular shots, this place is like absolutely beautiful. The waves are so clear. I got like my shoes are soaking wet actually and my socks are wet, but it was like 100% worth it. And I recommend to you guys, if you guys are ever around here in York, Maine, around York, Maine, just like make your way out to this lighthouse. Uh, description, check out the description. I'll like link some info about this lighthouse or like some website, but it is absolutely beautiful here. The food was great. And right now we're, what are we thinking of doing? I think we're planning on heading back. Heading back right? But I think, I think it's very important to say that like, 
Anytime you go out to like water, I think it's very like any body of water really that's like you can't see the end of it. It's very very humbling. No matter like how important you are or like you know how big of a person you really think you are, it's very like it's very humbling every time you see like just the ocean itself. Right? It's like so beautiful, scary, and just like mind blowing in general. Car coming. Car coming from both directions. Okay. Okay. Come visit this place if you can, and if you can't, keep watching our video. <laughs> I feel like that's a little ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think this is a, a bit healthy. It, do you think it's healthy? Maybe, right? I oh. mean, if you convince yourself that it's healthy. <laughs> Here, take a spoon. It's melting. Oh, jeez. Help it. Help it. So this is cookie dough. Yeah, this is a cookie dough with sugar cone, and it's like falling apart, and the wind is like. Let's hide behind here. Where do I where do I start? You don't. Okay, I got a good piece. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're going a little all out today. Oh that's good. That's really good. Mm. They should give you a bigger Tastes cup. Tastes like my childhood. Though. They should give you a bigger cup. Yeah. This is a struggle eating against the wind. You wanna move to the car? Yeah. So we got some cookie dough ice cream and um I did not know cookie dough ice cream had cookie dough in it. I thought it was just cookie dough flavor, so... I mean, this is the first time I'm having it, so now I know, but... <laughs> I feel like this is like the creme brulee moment, where I'm just like, Aah! I did not know it was this sugary. But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's, it's okay. <laughs> we could have chosen another flavor, but... We'll do this. We'll get past this. But it was such a mess eating it. Like I have ice cream all over me and especially with like what 50 miles per hour winds, it's not that crazy but the ice cream was just like splattering everywhere. But now we're heading back to New Hampshire. It was a great time here in Maine, York and yeah. Maine, York? York, Maine. In York, Maine. <laughs> I'm so glad that like in my trunk I keep like a, a roll of pa paper towels because if not we were just we were just dealing with like probably like three tissues. And now, now it's just like wrapped up and everything. So we're thinking of heading back now, and uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. It is a good day. We're we have thank me, thank me, thank you, thank me. You thank me. <laughs> oh, I thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're so bringing you out here to this scenic place. Right now it's six thirty p.m. and the sun is the sun's probably gonna set at like nine o'clock. It's summer, and uh. We're thinking of just chilling outside for a little bit right when we get back, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to kill the batteries too much because I don't want to go through charging them. So I'll see you guys when we head back. Yep. Today was definitely a productive day. I'm like super beat right now, but right now it's like July 1st and like upcoming is July 4th weekend. Well, it's the weekend right now, but have all those days off. So I think it's important for those times to like take your time to relax or like do what you want, like that you think is fun. And if you guys aren't doing anything and you're watching this video, well, I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy it as well. But as always, take our words with a grain of rice.